guys, today we're gonna learn how to paint a rainbow. So first, before you put your paint on your paper plate, always make sure to shake it up really good to make sure that it's not watery. Even if it's not watery, still shake it up. So first, get your paintbrush, dry it, and then you need to get some black paint off of your plate. And I would say to use acrylic paint and paint a bumpy cloud. You can do it however you want, but I'm making it look kind of like a four leaf clover. You don't have to copy off me, but just the only rule is to have fun and then do the same thing on the other side. Your clouds don't have to look anything alike. And then rinse off your paintbrush and get your red paint after you dry off your paintbrush. Then get some red paint and do two lines on your paper or canvas, whichever one you're working on. You can do every color or you can just do red, orange, and yellow. Or you can do like one with just hot colors or one with just cool colors. Whatever colors you want to use. But I'm sticking to the normal rainbow. And then after you have the two lines, paint them in. You might need to get some more paint every now and then but you still need to paint it in for it to look like a real rainbow. And don't worry about the inside of the clouds, just leave them white. Or you can make them different colors. And make sure that you don't leave any blank space. And now that we're done, do the same thing as the black and rinse off your brush, dry it, and then we need to get some orange paint. But I don't have orange paint, so I'm gonna take a little bit of red paint on the side of my plate, and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush and dry it, and then I'm gonna get some orangish yellow and mix that in and then I'm going to use the color that I make. And you might need to add a bit more yellow than you would like, but it still does work out better. And then, but this is only if you don't have any orange, like me. And then, Use that color for your orange stripe. But this time, don't do two lines, just do one line. It's kind of like an upside down U. And if you want, you might want to maybe kind of blend. Maybe blend some of that red and orange together. And then make sure that there's no like plain yellow or plain red in that stripe. And then I'm running out of room so I might not do it in order. I might start doing some leaps above it. So now I'm going to do yellow. If you have 
a normal yellow and an orange yellow, I would use the regular yellow and then just add, if you're running out of room, add a straight line. But if you aren't running out of room, make sure to add the same type of line as the orange one and only add one. And now next, I'm going to do some green. I only have a neon green, but if you have a regular green, use that. So I'm going to take my green, and I'm going to do one line. Across my paper, but make it under the yellow. Or if you ran out of room and you started doing it on top, put the green above your yellow. and try to get the line as straight as you can. And as you can see, I have ran out of room. So I'm gonna take my blue. You can either use um, a light blue or like a regular blue, or if you have a teal, you can use that. But I have a light blue and a teal, so I'm gonna use my teal. And I'm gonna go on top of my red with my teal. another line on top of the red to make sure that you don't go past that line but I'm just doing one line and I'm going to do it um, make sure to just do it really light because on your brush it could really tear up the bristles of your brush and it can make it be all sloppy and we don't want that so we're going to take it and finish it up and then if you want you can um get your black again and in your clouds you can do like little happy faces if you want i'm going to do some really cute little smiles in mind. But you don't have to do the exact same faces as me. And then last but not least is purple. But if you want to add another color, you can. So, um, I would use maybe a light purple if you have one, but if you only have a dark purple, just use that purple. And do, this one I'm going to do two lines to make sure that I don't go past the line. And remember, you don't have to do the faces or not in the same order. All you need to do is have fun. No matter how you paint it, just have fun and love how yours turned out. And then with a light purple, you might need to do some extra paint if 
because like if you kind of got some of that teal um, on your line for your purple, you might need some extra purple to go over that with. And if you use a light purple, you're going to need um, like, it can't be like maybe brownish purple. It has to be like purple purple, but it can be like violet purple, any type of purple, but it can't be grayish purple like what I have.